Hey, 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 it's Rosemary here. How are you doing? Okay, let's talk. You have something to say, but you think and you think and you think yourself out of it because you're scared about how it will be received, okay? The message you have for today doesn't seem politically correct enough. You worry that people will hate you for saying it. Your friends will be shocked that you said that out loud. The curtain will open up and you will be seen. And that carefully crafted professional exterior will be ripped away, leaving just you. And that feels scary. Okay. And then people will hate you. You think you worry that you'll not make any sales, not change any lives, have to give up all your dreams and go back to doing life unfulfilled. And so you create exactly that because you refuse to be brave and say what needs to be said. And so you get exactly what you worry about. Okay. Because even your people are bored by you. Okay. And they walk on by as you try so hard to sound like everybody else out there to blend right in. You try to sell your stuff with no energy, no excitement, just some formula that you bought from some guru somewhere and everyone can see through it. Okay. And they don't listen in. They don't buy. They don't let you change their lives. And so you make no money. Inside of you is a powerful, life-changing message. And no, it doesn't sound like anyone else. And so you wonder if you're just kind of making it up. Okay. And so you think, you think, you overthink your way out of it, filtering out every creative idea that comes out of you until all you're left with is a bland message that no one cares about. Even you feel kind of blah about it. And then you wonder why you're not making any money. Let me be completely honest with you, okay? I was sitting in my bed. In fact, I am sitting in my bed. <laughs> I was connecting with spirits and stirring up sexual energy to write my daily blog post. You know, I do that. And I kept filtering out idea upon idea because I was scared that it was too much, too bold, too bullshit. And I realized that I was doing exactly what I tell my people not to do. Okay. I wanted to talk about sex and spirit and success, but I kept thinking, oh my God, it's too much, too much to talk about. I kept thinking about how my friends and my extended family would be ashamed, angry, embarrassed if I talked about such stuff. I kept thinking about the judgments that may come my way as I, as I say it like it is. And the truth is I was worried about people I'm not even called to serve, really. They don't buy from me. They don't work with me even. And, and even when I'm being bland, they don't. So why does it even matter what these people think or care or, or, or feel or whatever, really? Why do I care so much about the opinion of people who are not even doing anything that I admire? Why do you... Honey, I'm not perfect, okay? I too have to work through the nonsense. I am with you as you deal with the fear inside of your head that tells you that you have to be like everyone else in order to sell. And that is, that is exactly the worst thing you can do. You call in your people, your people, by polarizing the people that are not your people, okay? And you say more and more of what your people and only your people will respond to. As Jesus himself said when he spoke of the good shepherd, the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They'll run from him because they don't know his voice. So this is it. You are leader, honey, and you are called to serve specific people and they will hear you when you call out to them without all the fear and trepidation about being real and authentic. Okay. The quicker you get clear on what your unique thing is, the quicker you get really authentic and vulnerable and, and real, okay? Your unique message, yes, it will be a product of your story, but the quicker you start to talk about that stuff, the quicker you become the wealthy entrepreneur you dream of being. You already know what your message is, really, okay? But right now you're telling yourself it's too unprofessional, it's too irrelevant, it's too blah, 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 whatever it is that's going on in your head right now. Honey, it takes courage courage to be a leader. It takes bullshitness and it's hard. And as you get more popular for saying it like it is, you'll also get more vocal persecutors. Yeah, it is also that way. And that will make you want to hide away. Don't. Your people need you to be brave. You need you to be brave. To say what others will not say, the world awaits, awaits your full awakening, okay? It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you are born to live. On a side note here, just before I finish, spirit sex success is almost here, okay? Just a few more days and I will tell you all about it, okay? For now, just know that it's going to be a six-week private mentoring program for a few key leaders ready to level things up powerfully. We'll work on connecting more powerfully and intimately with spirit, okay? So that your higher power is informing your every action. Imagine how powerful it would be to be led completely by powerful spirit who sees and knows everything, yeah? We will work on owning your sexuality powerfully 
carefully and letting that sexual energy draw more people to you as you become the charismatic leader you were born to be. We'll work on dropping the baggage from your past and then we'll work on calling in your perfect people, okay? And putting a strategy in place to sell, sell, change lives and sell some more. PM me now. So private message me right now if you want to grab a hold of the early bird discount. So if you private message me before it actually gets released to everybody, then you will have a specific discount that is only relevant to you. Okay. You might even get something really extra bonus. So make sure you send me through a private message to find out more about it. You can find me on Facebook. If you're when you're listening to this, um, at Rosemary Nonny Knight. Okay. Rosemary Nonny Knight. Go find me on Facebook. And the other thing is this, whilst you're waiting for Spirit Sex Success to come out, if you haven't got the exit plan, it's completely free. A free ebook that will help you transition into a more fulfilling online business or ministry. You need to start creating wealth in your own online business and I will show you one of these, um, one of seven freedom and profit generating business models that you will help you start making money right now. Okay. So download that free at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash exit plan five, all words, exit plan five. Okay. I look forward <laughs> to seeing you in Spirit Sex Success or to seeing you in my community or both. Okay. Until the next time. Bye.